I've worked in this business for 42 years before I retired. I've been involved in almost every engine program that Pratt & Whitney has had in, those, in that time frame. And the GP7000 was without a doubt the best engine in terms of how it wound up. One of the challenges with the GP7000, it's such a big engine that you just can't ship it. So what we did was, is we devised a method by which we could split ship the engine. We take the fan section off and ship it in two pieces to Toulouse. Uh, but one of the problems we ran into in the early part was that uh, when we wanted to send the flight test engines out to Airbus for the first A380, they were instrumented so we could figure out what the fuel performance was. So once you instrumented the engine, you couldn't take the fan section off. So we wound up uh, renting an Antonov, the biggest one we could find. And even with that airplane, uh, the engine as a single uh, piece couldn't barely fit in. It only had a couple of inches of, uh, on each side of uh, clearance. Working on the Engine Alliance was a lot of fun. It, that's one of the reasons why I thought it was the best job that, that I ever had.